they didn't have weathermen back then. We often take that for granted. But Jesus didn't need the morning forecast to tell him what would happen that afternoon out at sea. Being God, Jesus could see into the future. He knew what was coming. He had a bit more insight than the disciples. The disciples were not ready. But Jesus knows what's coming. Being a farming society, I thought this illustration was interesting. Did you know that it's believed that cows can sense when a storm's coming? Have you ever heard that? That cows will stand up when there are clear skies, and they'll lie down when it's about to rain. I'm not sure if this is true or not. I'm a little skeptical. But sometimes, I have, I have watched the cows and said, oh, they're laying down. And if they're laying down, I wait to see if the rain's going to come. And a couple times, the rain has come when I've seen the cows laying down. So I have to leave, okay? But it's interesting. The, the cows that I've witnessed just laid there in the open. They didn't go under a tree. They didn't go into shelter. They just kind of laid there and got rained on. These are Massachusetts cows. I don't know if they're as sophisticated as Vermont cows. They may, they may not be. Um, but anyway, they just laid down in the open. Well, Jesus, too, knew that a storm was coming. And he just lays down in the open at the back of the boat. It makes me question, if he knew the storm was coming, why would you just lay there to get rained on? And why wouldn't you give the disciples a little bit of a heads up? He could have said, hey, Philip, Peter, Storm's coming. Nope. No heads up. Just knocks out the back of the boat. And he gets soaked. Look at verses 37 and 38. Verse 37. A furious storm came up, and the waves broke over the boat so that it was nearly swamped. Jesus was in the stern, sleeping on a cushion. The disciples woke him and said to him, Teacher, don't you care if we drown? It doesn't seem that the disciples were ready for this. They were not prepared. Now, the Sea of Galilee is 13 miles long by 7.5 miles wide. And because of the steep slopes, the wind rushing down, hitting the water, can create storms almost out of nowhere. So there's no way the disciples could have anticipated this. But Jesus could. And knowing that the storm is coming doesn't seem to phase Jesus. He just sleeps. The boat's hit the storm and the disciples being scared for their lives, awake the sleepy Jesus and ask this essential question. Teacher, don't you care if we drown? Jesus, don't you care? Does Jesus care? It's hard to imagine that Jesus was sleeping while the disciples were bailing water out of the boat. They're splashing the water back into where it belongs, and Jesus is just sleeping there. Anytime there's like a lot of work to be done, and I'm working hard and trying to get something done, and I see someone just sitting off to the side, it's a little annoying. <laughs> Whenever there's a lot of work to be done, and you just see someone sitting there not doing anything or helping out, it's a little frustrating. So you almost can't blame the disciples for acting the way they did. Teacher, don't you care? Why does he let this happen? We know the story doesn't end there. Look at verse 39. Verse 39. He got up, rebuked the wind, and said to the waves, Quiet! Be still! Then the wind died down, and it was completely calm. 